Hello and welcome to you from the mic stand here on Arts Echoes. We are live at MASH in Maxfield. Now we've just seen a very special strip back set from Red Sky Dawn. Absolutely adored their set this evening. I'm sure you guys at home enjoyed it as well. Now we're with the band. Um, so yeah, do you want to tell us about yourself? Yeah, brilliant. So I'm Charlie. I'm usually the guitarist, but today I was on the keyboard. Um, um, me and my um, me and my dad have been writing songs for years, mm. and all on the theme of well, particularly for the album that's going to come out on alienation, sure. and and stuff like the refugees. We just feel like there's so many things to write about yeah. right now, and it'd be criminal not to release an album, really. So we've seen a stripped back version of the band, but what's it like when you've got the full uh, team on stage? So when we're at full stage, um, <laughs> everything's a lot a lot of a higher tempo. Um, obviously louder. Um, mm. you, you've got your guitar. I've got my guitar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know always well in the world. Yeah, the effect. Yeah. I even put my effect pedals on my keyboard. Oh, so mm. um, I love reverb, and uh, I sound a bit like the Edge slash Andy Summers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right. That's so for uh, those people who don't know too much about, do you want to tell us a bit about your influences and who inspired you to get on stage and perform? And oh, that? I mean, you could go on forever. Uh, <laughs> you could. Yeah. We've all got such a broad range. Sure. Just sure. want to share yeah. a couple of each then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I'm heavily inspired by the Police, yeah. Big Country, which might overlap with Sam's actually. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and like Chameleons, right. all of those, basically all the good guitar bands, Johnny Marr <laughs> in the Smiths. Um, but anyway, I think I might be about to overlap because <laughs> me and Sam have similar ones. My influences have changed quite a bit as the band sort of developed, really, because Ian has introduced me to Big Country, which I've started listening to non-stop. Mm. So that's become a big influence. Right. You know, I bought I bought an amp a couple of weeks ago, which is said to be the one that Stuart Adamson performed, well, maybe not performed with, but recorded with. Oh, nice. Um, nice. Not the actual one, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, imagine. <laughs> would have made a lot more than 80 quid for it. Um, what else? Paul Weller, I've said before, because yeah. I just love his voice. And, you know, it's just so soulful. And I think uh, some people have compared that to mine. Yeah. So, you know, maybe oh, that's, that's why I think of it as an influence. Um, yeah, Josie? Uh, well, uh, I think everyone knows what yeah. I'm going to say yeah. here. Um, yeah. <laughs> the Beatles. Yes. Um, I love, I love like Paul McCartney's mm. sort of melodic bass. Um, I think he's quite underrated, really, for the bass, mm -hmm. not for the song. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, uh, But Queen as well. John Deacon's bass mm. lines, I love. There's a lot of that kind of older stuff. Um, I like Rolling Stones bass lines, Crowded House. Mm. There's. I can't think of it. Yes. I've got loads. Yeah. <laughs> I just can't think of it now. Over to you. Uh, yeah, I mean, ever since I started with the band, the, um, these have been really requesting for loads of things to listen to, and it's really influenced what I listen to, mm. like, especially the police. Stuart Copeland is in yes. very much uh, an inspiration of mine. Uh, but yeah, I think I, I listen to quite an eclectic range of music. I mean, with what I'm doing now, being a a percussionist and coming from quite a classical background, mm. I'm quite open to, right. to, to right. listen yeah. to anything. Yeah. yeah. So when you're writing songs, do you write them together? You said we did that. Do you bring them to the band, or does everyone write together now? Um, it well, it's it's getting more that way. So usually there's a gem of an idea. I'm going to break the fourth wall. My dad's over there. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. Um, so um, I mean, a lot of the time uh, because he's downstairs, I'm upstairs. Usually we hear each other charge down the stair stairs saying, "Hey, listen to this." Um, and then and then usually the lyrics. Um, so usually my, my dad um, writes a lot of the lyrics, but we, we bounce ideas because um, I'm still getting up. Because I wrote another, um, but I can't quite finish all, all of my songs yet, right. all my yeah. ideas. Yeah. Yeah. So and then there's a back and forth. Yeah. And then it's funny, though, because when we take it to the rest of the band, because of how we play, everything gets blown away. In, mm. And yeah, it just... Yeah. Um, it's amazing what happens with this guy, these guys. Now, <laughs> yes. you guys have any singles out at the moment? Is there plans to release things in the future? We have uh, one single out at the moment, uh, What Were You Thinking? We're soon to be followed, not tomorrow, the day after, uh, on Friday, with the extended version, um, which has 
Charlie's nice yeah. guitar solo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so you'll hear a bit more, yeah. more of that. And then we've got one that we're hoping to release soon, which yes. is Red Sky Dawn, which we played tonight, right. which was yes. a bit slower and a bit more laid back than the one that we've recorded. Um, but since doing that one, I think we all want to record it now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you can do a double. Yeah. 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 Well, the, the thing is with Red Sky Dawn is uh, we've got this YouTube series we're doing where we're filming us record the album. Every, mm. every two weeks it'll be out an episode. Oh, very um, and we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers, and when we get there, we'll release Red Sky Dawn, mm. which is the introduction song to this. So well, where are you uh, recording the album? Do you have a studio? Do you go somewhere? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're going to mention our great producer, Ol Oliver Shillito. Can't not. He no, can't not. Because um, <laughs> we recorded a, a Red Sky Dawn and what we're thinking with him, mm. um, and that was in Rochdale. However, he's moved to Bury, so we've got right. this great um, studio in Bury. And... Yeah, he gets, he gets the best out of us. He's mm. mean, but he gets yeah, the best out of us. He's not really, me, really. He's a good mental. He's not. really good yeah, mental. Yeah, yeah. 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 We should probably yeah. mention what the what the um, like the series is called. It's called yeah. uh, yeah. People Say We Monkey Around. <laughs> that's that's our famous lyric from uh, the Monkeys there, like yeah. the theme tune. Mm. Yeah, because that, that's a bit what we're doing. Like some people might think we can't do it. We're just kids. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. Best crack. Yeah, and, uh, see where it goes. Exactly. And how do you decide what ends up on the album? Is there like twenty songs you can <laughs> go and or we've a actually catalog. <laughs> <laughs> how many have we got? Like, oh, I can't count. Well, I mean, this, this is ten years, yeah. remember? So yeah. there's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so we have to kind of because we wanted to pick alienation for now as a mm. theme, right? Um, and that's alien nation. Two separate words, but can also be alien nation. Mm. Um, and that separation's there because. Um, alien nation feels like you don't recognise something anymore. Right. Also, alienation, you feel a bit lost. Mm. Isolated, yeah. Um, mm. So yeah, so we've picked out of our fifty songs. Well, I don't know. It's, it increases it, like every single day, yeah. <laughs> especially with how many times you charge up my stairs. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, so um, we've themed it to alienation. Mm. So we've got eleven songs that sort of fit that, you yeah. know, fit in the puzzle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really. Now, uh, is there any way people can catch you guys live? Is there any dates coming up? So, um, we've got our, our earliest one, uh, where you might catch us, is at King's Arms. Big shout out to them, actually, in Wilmslow, because that's where we first ever played together. I think it was me, Ian and Charlie to begin with, and then yeah. the week after Josie came. On keyboard. On keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> so the keyboard's done the rounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gave up on that one. Yeah. <laughs> then about two weeks ago. in, <laughs> the bass came along. Uh, so yeah, we've got a gig there on May the fourteenth. If you can make it, um, where we'll be, you know, in our fullest form, mm. um, hopefully on form. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, we've got that, and then uh, organised just yesterday actually with playing a, a three-day music festival. Um, obviously not all three days. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, we might have to write a few more songs. Um, <laughs> August the 14th, which is a Sunday, I think, um, in Hebden Bridge, uh, what's it called now? The Robin Hood, Cragvale. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And um, you mentioned they got the YouTube series, and um, just want to remind people where they can find all your stuff. And So, um, so we've got face a Facebook page, it's at Red Sky Dawn, Instagram at Red Sky Dawn. Uh, most of them are at Red Sky Dawn. Right. Um, uh, we'll also be having a website coming along soon, but yeah. that'll be in all of our biographies and mm. Facebook pages. Um, but also our YouTube's linked to the Instagram as well. Yeah. But if you could subscribe to that, that would be brilliant. Because yeah, then you can watch um, every two weeks what we're doing and catch up with us. And we're quite excited about it. And, and you can have so your say, maybe, yes. in the comments yes. to what we might further do with the album. Mm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And are there any bands that you yourself have seen lately, either like local bands that you know or like a bit further afield that you just want to give a bit of a shout out to? I've got, well, I um, have to give a huge shout, shout out to Rosellas. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, in the recording of What Were You Thinking and Red Sky Dawn, their lead singer Drew, Drew Selby, um, uh, was there. And I'm not kidding, he got him and Ollie got yeah. so much out of us in that studio. Yeah, they had so many ideas. Yeah. Uh, at first, I was like, "Oh, rival band, <laughs> yeah. what's he gonna do?" But, um, <laughs> but he was brilliant. He was absolutely fantastic. And uh, what have been uh, some of your like favourite places to play at over the years? Oh, 
Oh god, well, so many. Witness. Yeah, I've witness. Got, sure. Witness. Yeah. Snake. Yeah. yeah, the Snake and Witness, we went, I think it was like a last minute thing. Yeah. The first time we played, yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. yeah. I think Charlie managed to snap yeah. that gig up. Yeah, because yeah. it's the Northwest Bands and Gigs, I can't remember the exact name of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I check it all the time in case there's another mm-hmm. thing. And obviously during COVID, people, like, there's some benefits in that you've got <laughs> my sec- nab other people's gigs. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, we got on the back of that one, and the funny thing was everyone cleared out the room when we went on because they weren't expecting us. Mm. But eventually we got everybody in, no, and yeah. people came in because they liked what we were doing, and that was a great feeling. Yeah. So. Yeah. What, what's good. so great about events like that, we also meet other bands which are trying to do things that we are. So yeah, exactly, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so I'm following now or Labour Spotify, there are people like the Superlatives, oh, yeah. EOI, Peach yeah. Street. It was, yeah. it was great and the quicks yes they, they were like quicks, quicks. we love them honey talks yeah like it's just great and then they influence them and hopefully we influence them yeah, and yeah. sounds good just, yeah, yeah. We're just trying to build the band community yeah, yeah. 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 just so want to like, remind yeah. everyone what you've got coming up next then what have we got coming next next again <laughs> uh, there'll, there'll be another episode of people say we monkey around yes. in two weeks time uh, one just went up was it last uh, Last Friday, last Friday, last Friday yes. one went up, so it'll be in a week actually. Yeah. Um, and that's about our favourite albums. Um, and what else did you talk about on that one? Yeah, well, um, on, on that, that one, we talked about um, how we performed in Witness because Ollie came along, our producer, um, to watch us get a few yeah. of the songs. And he's made notes. Mm. Uh, yeah, a lot of um, yeah, a lot of notes. Uh, Friday evening we'll have Red Sky. Oh, sorry. Um, what were you thinking? Extended. Yes. Uh, yeah. Coming out at six pm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's on April first, but it promise it's not on April fourth. <laughs> 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 Get a lot of that. Well, it's after midday anyway, isn't it? So yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, it's been absolutely amazing to have you guys on the show. I wish you the best of luck in the future. Thanks, Thank you. 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 Thank you.